In their book Nudge, Richard Thaler and Cass Sunstein remind us that real people have trouble with long division if they don't have a calculator, sometimes forget their spouse's birthday, and have a hangover on New Year's Day. This might seem like a statement of the obvious, but it illustrates an important reality economists have ignored for years. This reality is that humans are not perfect. Economists have modeled humans as econobots for centuries. Their models have assumed that we are perfectly rational, that we don't have emotions, and that we make unbiased decisions. But there's a new wave, behavioral economics, whose scholars have not only shown economists what average Joes have known for years, but they've devised ways for us to work with our imperfections and make better decisions. Chief amongst these methods is the nudge. A nudge is sort of like a GPS device which tells you which way to go. As Richard Thaler defines it, a nudge is some small feature in the environment that attracts our attention and influences our behavior. For an example, think of rumble strips on the side of the highway. Whenever a driver veers towards the side of the road, the rumble strip sends a signal reminding the driver to stay in lane. If you think of every decision we make as having a choice set, a range of possible choices, and if you acknowledge a section within this range that represents optimal choices, then a nudge is simply a trail of breadcrumbs which leads you to these optimal choices. Policymakers have devised such a nudge with legislature that requires menu items to have calories placed next to them. The calories next to a menu item are supposed to guide consumers toward the optimal decision. Hundreds of nudges like this one are being designed and implemented around the world, and this growing use of nudges has captured the attention of the United Kingdom's government. This led them to create a nudge unit tasked with researching what makes a nudge effective. Their research has uncovered that effective nudges often follow the EAST framework. Effective nudges are easy, attractive, social, and timely. A nudge is easy if it reduces the action's required effort. It's attractive if it captures attention or incentivizes. A nudge is social if it makes use of norms and commitments. And it's timely if it shows the action's importance now. This framework provides a way for you to create your own nudges, be it for yourself or for others. Whenever there's a situation where you want to encourage a certain behavior or action, find ways to make it easy, attractive, social, and timely. And when you're trying to remember what a nudge is and why it's important three weeks from now, remember this. Humans are imperfect. We make mistakes. And nudges are just parts of our environment that help us avoid these mistakes and make better decisions. When you're trying to encourage a behavior or action, make it easy, attractive, social, and timely. With this basic understanding of nudges, you will soon be on your way to designing environments and influencing behaviors. <laughs>